Um, good afternoon, fellow Maths for Geeks viewers. So today, uh, I know I have been quite inactive for the past, I don't know, five, six months. And I have not been even posting uh, my videos on the website and my next video. And this will be the second video, the second part of the IGCSE Additional Mathematics series. So, this is this, this topic, it's called Derivation and Integration. Derivation. Today. This is of paramount importance in the admat uh, in the admat series because this is the basic concept that will link to so many other concepts that we will learn in IGCSE additional mathematics. Um, so our topics that follow uh, derivation and integration are all different topics that apply the theories we learn in derivation integration into different mathematical concepts like uh, velocity, speed, uh, speed time, vectors, scalars, uh, graphing, tan uh, tangents, and much more. So, uh, let's start off immediately. So, in IGCC additional mathematics, we have derivation. So, for the sake of this video, I'm going to assume that all functions that I try to derivate in this first part are called y. So, it could be something like y equals mx plus c. Or, for any basis, y equals any function could be any function at all. Uh, any combination of algebraic expressions could be y. And the int, uh, the uh, derivative of y, the derivative, very important word, you'll see this quite a lot, the derivative is the differentiated version of a y function. So if all these are equations of y, y equals this, y equals ln x, y equals cosine x, y equals tangent x, so basically it could be y equals anything, y equals any form of x. And we have to understand that when we have a y, we also have a derivative of y, and that derivative would be called dy over dx. And dy over dx, dy over dx, refers to two forms. So the numerator dy just means the derivative of y, And as I introduced before this, y is the function we're trying to derive. So it could be anything after this. So de deriving y with respect to x. So when we're saying respect to x, we are trying to say that x is the main algebraic variable that we are taking into consideration when we are deriving a function. You will, you will see how that works uh, when we move on into differentiating different functions. So let's start with uh, theory number one, okay, the one with the first magnet. Theory number one s states that when y equals to uh, x variable to any power, n representing any integer, the, uh, the derivative of y with respect to x, also known as y dash, is equal to n brought down, n brought down x, and n minus 1. So, for example, if y equals 3x squared, then dy over dx, the derivative of y with respect to x will be 2 times 3, with respect to the formula, 2 times 3, n times x, I mean, uh, yeah, n in front, so 2, 6, x. And y equals perhaps 5x to the power of 3, the dy over dx of this will be 3 times 5 is 15, and x, the exponent, will be subtracted by 1, so 2. So this is the uh, basic concept. So this will be applied in basically everywhere. So you could have a long function like y equals 3x squared plus 6x minus 5, and you could be asked to find dy over dx of this. It's very common, you'll find this in topics that follow this topic. So, to start off uh, in deriving this function, we first have to derive each function by each function, because they're all separated by uh, plus and minus. So, dy over dx of 3x squared individual, let's assume 3x squared is just a function on its own. So, differentiating this, 2 times 3 is 6x, 2 minus 1, plus when you just see 6x, when you just see 6x, 
we're gonna assume that 6x to the power of 1 because it means the same thing so 6x to the power of 1 1 times 6 is 6 and x 1 minus 1 minus 5 so when you see something like minus 5 it has no algebraic expression attached to it which basically means it's just an x to the power of 0 because x to the power of 0 is 1 so assuming it's just x to the power of 0 5 times 0 is 0 so the entire function can just be neglected altogether so when you see any number in an uh, algebraic expression is supposed to differentiate and that number does not have an algebraic coefficient that means that you do not have to derivate that function you can just completely neglect that moving on so let's simplify this 6x 2 minus 1 is 1 and uh, 6x 6 6x six. Six 1 minus 1 so that would just be 6 altogether 6x to the power of 1 is just 6x plus 6 so we see how this function can be transformed into the uh, differentiated version of the function now that is how we that's number one that's the first method so let's just tick this off assuming people uh, already know that how to apply the formula now two magnets number two now we come to uh, trigonometric functions so I'm uh, assuming that all this already has an introduction before this so I'm just going to a quick summary of the uh, different theories. You can always look this up or look on the blog I'm going to post above this. So number two is uh, trigonometric functions, trig functions. And uh, just to spice up questions in admats, the examiners will always have um, functions with trigonometric, fu uh, trigonometric uh, values inside them just to add difficulty to the question, which means that this is also of paramount importance. So when we have, we have to memorize this though, this is, I can't uh, possibly explain this. I can explain y equals tan x and why its derivative is this, but for sin x, cos x, and tan x, this must all be memorized. The, the uh, what is the derivative function of sin x, cos x, and tan x. So for y equals sin x, sin x derived gives you cos x, and cos x derived gives you negative sin x, and tan x derived gives you second square x and for those who, for those of you who do not know what it means second square x just means 1 over tan square x I mean 1 sorry uh -huh. 1 over cos square x this is uh, in the trigonometry part of the chapters so this must be quite well known now so um, for now you don't always just see as just an x standing there. There's always another value between the sine and the x. So you can have something like uh, y equals sine three x. This is okay. It's, it's just a basic function. So now differentiating this. By the way, derivating and differentiating means the same thing. By the way, yeah. So sine three x. So to dif uh, to differentiate this, use the laws of uh, differentiation sin x derived is cos x, so we just see a sin x here. So now, assuming there's a 3 inside the x, we derive it, we, we just take it, we, we derive 3x, okay? Deriving 3x uses, just gives us 3, as I've explained before this. So 3 comes in front, and put the cos 3x, transform this, and keep the 3x there also. So same thing, if you see something like y equals cos 5x, dy over dx, or that, will just be negative 5 sine 5x five so because it's the way into this it just means like 5 times negative sine 5x which gives you negative 5 sine 5x that's that's basically it how you uh, that's, that's the basic concept of how you differentiate different functions and uh, tan x although it looks a bit hard it's just exactly the same a value can be put there and when you differentiate it it comes in front so if you have something like uh, y equals, what if the number comes before the trigonometric function, something like 5 tan x, is just basically dy over dx equals 5 second square x. You don't, you just ignore it altogether. If it's in front, just copy it in the function. So uh, if the integer is before the function altogether, in the differentiated value, just copy it down there. You do not have to differentiate that. That will be proved in the laws of uh, differentiation, which I'll uh, come to after this differentiation techniques like the chain rule. 
Okay, so d this is basically how trigonometric functions work and it differentiated values. This is absolutely important. So please have a look at this. Please memorize each of the differentiated values inside there. Then, moving on to logarithmic functions. Now, we do not always just um, see um, stuff that uh, just involves basic numbers and trigonometry. We also see logarithms. And a very, very common logarithm we usually see is in the form of ln. ln is a natural logarithm. It's not a 1, it's an L. I call it Lin, you can call it Ln, however you want to call it. It's in the log cells and indices chapter of the AdMath series. So in, it basically means it's just a natural logarithm. I will tell you what that means in the uh, indices, cells, and logarithms video. Natural logarithm. So, when you see a function like uh, y equals, um, let's say, yeah, in x basically what I wrote there. So I'm differentiating this, I'm going to put this, it's just 1 over x, that's it. It's simple as that, just copy it down down there. y equals 5 in x. What do you do? It it basically means um, dy over dx equals 5 over x. That's it. That's, that's precisely how you um, differentiate a natural logarithmic log 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 functions function. So whatever is after the in is just copied down into the denominator and the function that comes before that is copied here or if it comes over here and that has to be differentiated too then you differentiate that and put it on top of dx. You know, it's, it sounds hard but after practice it just gets quite easy. Now um, then we have e. e is a very common constant that is used in math. So if you just see, it's, it can't get any simpler than this. So if y equals e to the power of x, then differentiating y with respect to x is just e to the power of x again. There's no, there's no change. It just copied down exactly. So, uh, but if you see dy over dx, e, uh, e, I mean, sorry, y equals e to the power of 2x. So if you see something up there, then dy over dx equals 2 e to the power of 2x. So if you see e to the power of 19x, then dy over dx just means uh, 19 e to the power of 19x. Unlike normal uh, differentiation, did not minus the exponent. That's not necessary when you see an e because e is a constant. You use this law. So whatever is the exponent, you even divide that exponent and put it in front of the e and then just copy down the e function altogether down there. That's uh, these are the laws of logarithms that you have to know for the exam. For example, this just comes by practice, y equals x power of n. If you practice enough the differentiation, you'll just get this uh, formula right in your head. This three you have to memorize it. What is sine x, cos x, tan x, what 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 the differentiated version is. And then uh, ln x, you also have to know because you also see that in the exam. And the e to the power of x and other constants, you will still have to know how to what's the differentiated value is. Then you apply that into different scenarios. Thank you. This is the first part of the um, derivation series. These are derivation techniques. So I mean, these are um, derivation laws. Next, next we'll go to techniques and how you can use different methods in which you can use these laws uh, in different questions. Thank you.